welcome back to another video i am at mina arkansas at the renegade ranch if you're new to my channel i hope you like what you see since the diamond mine is closed and it's going on a month now i can't get out there and dig for diamonds so i got to find something else to do so i'm going to dig around and i'm also going to surface hunt there's going to be a couple days worth of digging and surface hunting in this video they've got a new plow so she was able to dig a lot deeper so that'll help bring up some good stuff for the surface in my last videos if you've noticed the plow wasn't so deep well she's got a new plow and you can see how these are just a lot deeper and higher up so that's going to help wash out some arrowheads and didn't find much got this broken piece of an arrowhead you can see it's fully worked on both sides and a bunch of chips and flakes so anytime you see all these flakes sooner or later you'll get a, a full arrowhead sorry for the wind noise so on this trip i brought my big classifier it's a half inch and as you can see it's custom made it was built for the diamond mine it can hold about 10 15 buckets at once so yeah we're going to use that out here at mina see if we can't get an arrowhead or two started to dig a hole i'm gonna go down a couple feet i noticed a lot of flint i'm gonna dig through these chunks of dirt and grass see if we got anything on top and then I'll continue on down in the hole okay I got the grass all worked out just a few pieces of flint and some other rocks just made the first few shovels from the grass and right off the bat oh my gosh I didn't even see that one Oh, I was looking for this one, guys. I was looking at this, and then that one was in the dirt. Whoa. Whoa. All right. I think I'm in a good spot. Worked a little bit of material, and I pulled this big rock out of the hole. This was sitting on the hard pan. The hard pan varies out here. It could be a foot down. It could be four foot down. So right now I got about two feet from the surface I can work. And this is material that has not been dug out here. As you already noticed, I found a nice broken arrowhead, just missing the tip and a good shoulder all in the same few shovels. So I'm gonna widen up the hole, get out here where my shovel is, square this thing out and see what else I can get after a safety meeting. Been surface hunting taking a break from digging the hole and check out this surface find. It's a base, you can see that. Oh man, darn, not a bad base. Maybe I can find the tip over here, that'd be cool. Not far from that base, I found a tip. worked on both sides well the winds are starting to pick up there's another tip laying on the surface just a flake check how thin that flake is and when I hold it up in the sun Do your boo boo. Do your boo boo. Do your boo boo. Not far from that tip. Looks like we have a base right here. Oh, yeah. Nice base. Let's 
sooner or later I'll get that full point. The base. Really broken up. It's a busted up pretty good but it's a, still a base we are surface hunting because somebody won't go home a tip i believe we're gonna pick it up and see oh yeah nice tip of an arrowhead nice Time to pack it up. Day one is over. Here's the hole. Here's what I found today. These came out of the hole and a bunch of chips. And all this over here is from the surface. All right, well that's it for day one. I'll be out here early in the morning. Roughly 15 miles east of Mina off Highway 88 is Renegade Ranch, ATV trails, and camping. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, each camping site has plenty of room. There's a small canopy, and we practice social distancing very well. There's water. At each site, electrical hookups. The next is really handy, the shower house. There's a women's and a men's. And just behind the bathhouse, there's a couple of cabins you can rent. You could stay for here for a whole month. Ride ATVs, dig for artifacts, fish in the Washita River, there's plenty of room between campsites. They each come with a barbecue grill, table, and chairs. Here is the entry coming from the highway. And to the right of the entry to the camping grounds is access to the Washita River and the ATV trails. And the river is in walking distance. This is day two here at Renegade Ranch at the dig site. Um, right here is the hole from day one. I may continue to work in this spot. It's kind of played out. I haven't really seen much. But any shovel could have an arrowhead, so you never know. If I don't see anything, I'm going to go ahead and head on back down to where I was my last trip. Arrowhead on the surface right by my hole. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out, please. wasn't getting anything towards the fence so I came back over here where I started and first shovel a broken tip so that's a good indicator that's what we want all right so I'm digging and I thought I'd go down past you can see the different colors of dirt a little darker brown and you get this stuff and right out of this big chunk check out that base Alright, just got back from surface hunting and I found this one here by the fence. And another thing I have to do before I leave is fill in the holes. They got some signs on the fences that say to keep five feet from the fence and to fill in your hole. Well, it's not an arrowhead, but it is a piece of quartz.
just a chip where they're actually working on it and it broke but it's a piece of quartz so you can definitely get an arrowhead made out of quartz crystal at this location looks like we have a base sticking out let's see what we got yep just a broken base nope that's an arrowhead we got an arrowhead it's got a broken shoulder all right nice little surface find right there cool yep definitely a arrowhead one bump and here's what I got on day two it's about five o'clock I'll probably surface hunt a little bit more because I just found this one so that's what I got so far this one came off the surface not far from that other one pretty rough but it's still a fully worked piece this one would have been amazing and the same as these really big tips those would have been really big so yeah that's what i got all right i'm back for day three got the sun finally out this morning so it's not gonna be as chilly first off since i got the sun i'm gonna go ahead and do some surface hunting then i'm gonna head back over towards the uh, fence and do some digging over here digging today i took a chunk out right here and look what fell down in the hole <sighs> fully worked piece that would have been a massive arrowhead the tips broken here and this would have been the base but look how big that would have been i'm about two and a half feet down just working around the hole and nothing much started to classify the material check out this base that would have been a really awesome arrowhead if you know what the name of this is please leave a comment of what this arrowhead would have been that's a unique base all right well these are the finds for day three a couple bases a tip that's busted up pretty good this base right here is really cool yeah i'm tired it's day three sleeping in a tent it's kind of hard to get a good night's nice rest for me I and mean, then come out here and dig all day and i decided to surface hunt one more time before i left and i got two more bases imagine that ace of base here's everything that i found the three days digging at renegade ranch dig site this is the best arrowhead I have found out there laying on the surface. It's got one bump, shoulder missing. This would have been a really good one, but it wasn't missing the tip. The natives out there were very, very good at what they did. That's why this was a napping site only. They were there making arrowheads, scrapers, and that's about it. Nothing else. And of course, the crystal. You can see how this is a chip off a quartz crystal. So the natives were definitely using the crystals from the nearby crystal veins. That's it from Mena, Arkansas. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, thank you all for the support. I couldn't be out here if it wasn't for you guys. I'm pooped. It's been three days. I've got several artifacts to go on my cases, so I'm happy. Hopefully next time I'll get some better arrowheads for the collection. But that's all you can do is get out here and dig and you never know what you'll get. Mm -hmm.